Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Long time no see. It's been a while since we had a little session together. So, in this video, we are going to be mainly and mostly focusing on sleep and uh, using the tarot to help us organize our thoughts and calm down our minds in a way that allows us to have some some quality sleep perhaps with dreams that have a special meaning as well. And I will be using the Tarot del Fuego because lately I haven't used this deck that much since I bought it. But Lately, I've been connecting with it a lot, so I wanted to use it for today's session as well. And uh, I remember having kind of a hard time relating the illustrations to the original meanings and concepts behind behind uh, each card, or some of them, and lately I've been able to have some revelations or insights into what the artist Ricardo Cavolo might have been intending to do with these illustrations in the first place, so that's been pretty, pretty interesting. and. I also have these brushes here, my magic brushes, just to help us relax even more. So I'm going to start out by giving the deck a good shuffle. I've been using it to, to do some of the personal readings that I uh, that I was giving out to my patrons and my PayPal supporters so just to clear the energies and have kind of a blank slate effect let's give it a good shuffle and while I'm doing this I would like you to just uh, think about what you would like to get out of this reading and it doesn't matter what you're doing whether you're uh, getting ready for bed or you know playing on your phone or you have another tab open I sometimes do that I sometimes just uh, listen to an ASMR video without actually watching it and doing something else meanwhile. So even if you're doing that, you can hear the sounds of me shuffling the deck and you can ask yourself what you would like this reading to express to you if you have a question or a problem that's been on your mind, a situation, a life situation that you've been struggling with. The cards are going to explain to you how you can struggle well because I believe there's many ways of struggling. There's meaningful struggle, 
struggle that takes us closer to freedom and then there's struggle that is bringing you down when you're struggling against the good parts in your soul and not the shackles that keep you from becoming free And I just would like to get three cards and see what happens. These are not chronologically related in any way. So this is not a past, present, future reading, which I normally do they are simultaneously present and they make up the message that I'm going to be delivering to you this time and I'm going to start out by charging with this turquoise gemstone and if you decided to watch this video and use it as a sort of meditation before bed You can follow along with the movements I'm making. Just follow the gemstone with your eyes. And that is going to take you even further, even deeper into relaxation. So, let's see the message. We have the Ten of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. So, we have water in the form of cups, and we have fire in the form of wands and we have earth in the form of pentacles so the struggle is real the air element is missing and that's indicating to me that the struggling question is a uh, although not independent from our thoughts, is not dominated or originated from our thoughts. It is emotion, passion, and uh, materially based. So maybe a good idea would be to just zoom in on these cards because they have so many interesting details that I would like you to see and observe if possible. Alright. 
So, first of all, we have the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups, ten being the number of totality, and um, emotional fulfillment is a card of satisfaction, of emotional satisfaction that comes from variety. In the original tarot, or the classical tarot, we have a rainbow to represent this concept of this feeling of plentiness, the feeling of uh, diversity that creates happiness. When you have diversity in your life, when you have a lot of different sources of energy coming from different uh, types of friends, different friend circles, different experiences, different activities, colorful foods. That creates a level of emotional well-being that makes life really enjoyable. So I would just like you to now focus on these, all these different kinds of cups and participate in this countdown that I'm going to do now. So we're going to sink into this feeling of gratitude and enjoyment. Nine, eight, please observe the different cups and the different contents of the cups, seven, Three, two, and one. And these cups create a foundation for a home with many sets of eyes, so many different perspectives. And, uh, and a lot of safety, a feeling of safety. So this is your end goal here. Now you're feeling a bit calmer. And we can talk about the other two cards, which represent <coughs> the struggle itself. Now. The Five of Wands is a classic struggle card. It's one of those cards in the deck that whenever you see it, you are inclined to think that there's a conflict brewing, that there's a confrontation ongoing are about to happen. And so 
it's interesting to see how this little squirrel had made the decision to shelter himself from the rage coming from the sky all these rageful lightning strikes and how he decided to seek shelter under the wands although he needs to be aware that he cannot ever really run away from from it all because this wooden structure can catch fire at any given moment what needs to happen is he needs to brace himself and he needs to face the problems and the sources of this conflict and uh, the entire dynamic of the struggle is that he, the scroll, is kind of uh, <clears throat> powerless against the fury coming down from the sky. But that's a false narrative. And let me just have a sip of water before I continue because I, my uh, vocal cords are hurting a little bit. All right, so, so this is an illusion. This is a, a false perception of yourself as the squirrel under this, uh, this quickly quickly made shelter in a way it is the shelter itself that is attracting the trouble so it's better to take full responsibility for who you are and what you want than to hide away from some punishment that you imagine is uh, coming towards you. It might be real, but you cannot hide from it by isolating yourself. It's not a good solution. And um, the other one, the other aspect of the struggle is the Page of Pentacles, <clears throat> or the Knave of Pentacles, it's called in this deck. And it's quite a diabolical, hedonistic figure he, right here. He's sitting on a throne, he even has a devilish kind of tail and he's got this um, kind of a hermaphrodite look with the big breasts but he also has a mustache so it's strange the way he looks and I think since pages are representations of inexperience I believe that the Page of Pentacles um, in this interpretation is showing how inexperience com uh, combined with arrogance can be uh, very revolting and uh, negative because all these flames, look at how, uh, how menacing it looks and how 
static, how stagnant all of this is. There's no real, there's no real alchemical transformation happening. He's just sitting on his, his laurels. And um, I believe that these two uh, sort of criticisms that the tarot is now conveying to me are the solution to your to your struggle. This is these are giving you clues as to what you can change to turn this struggle um, into a meaningful fight. The arrogance of inexperience on the practical level of this endeavor that you'd like to uh, uh, take on is something that you need to be aware of. Do not allow yourself to be uh, to be mesmerized by your own success, your own first steps in the right direction, even if it, it seems like you're making progress, you're still at the beginning stages, and there's still a lot to learn, so don't get overly cocky, because that could bring you some trouble, and also realize that you just cannot avoid certain things coming your way and trying to hide away from them is only going to make the situation worse so now back to the original direction that we wanted to take the ten of cups Ten of Cups, so dreamy, it's like a little fairy tale with all these different cups that have their little personalities and just keep it simple stay connected to your imagination and don't forget that this emotional state that we talked about in the beginning is what you're really after and it's the thing that's going to give you ultimately give you more freedom and more safety I hope <clears throat> that you enjoy this little session I apologize about my voice I'm a little bit sick but hopefully I'm um, I'm gonna get better and I'm gonna be able to make more videos for you and I hope to see you.